Now, you're having this U.S. senator uh, from Arkansas, which is basically suggesting that people should take matters into their own hands and physically remove the, the pro-Hamas protesters uh, that are blocking bridges. Uh, to which Assad Piker responds with a detailed picture of the weapon that murdered the Japanese Prime Minister Abe. So now you're having people in Japan outraged of what Hassan Piker is doing. Apparently he's visiting Japan right now. I, I didn't know that. But but it's interesting how he keeps getting away with it. Like, like it, it, it's so bewildering. It, it's so bizarre. Because it, it, most average people, if they were to post a gun, to you know, in, in relationship to a U.S. senator, especially like the weapon that assassinated the prime minister, they would be banned from social media. But, you know... I, I guess, like, Hassan must have some connections. Like, he, he must know some people that, that he can do things that other mortals cannot. Still, it, it has upset a lot of individuals. Like, like, a lot of people are upset. And I'm pretty sure if he got banned, he would start crying about free speech. But at the same time, if a right-winger did the same to a leftist politician like Maxine Waters, he would start perk-watching. Like, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's the standard of social media nowadays, I guess. However, you know, this is an interesting question. Um, do people have a right to protest without being heckled? And again, you know, especially recently, I covered it on my main channel that in Brussels, um, you had a right-wing conference that got heckled by the police because they could maybe possibly cause uh, some unrest. Like, we don't know for sure, but like, just in case th th they may cause unrest, so we, we should shut it down. Uh, so, so when that happened, most of the communists were cheating, right? But when you have the pro-Hamas mobs blocking traffic, whenever someone goes and confronts them, communists are booing. It's very interesting. And by communists, I don't mean it as an insult. I mean, like, people that actually have, like, hammer and sickle in their bio or have voiced open support for the ideology. That, that's what I mean by communists. Now, now in, in the case of the pro-Hamas mobs, I, I think I can know... Why people are more upset about them than they are, I don't know, like the farmers or the truckers. Uh, it's very simple. The pro-Hamas mobs, very similar to the pro-environmentalist mobs, they're not protesting the politicians, they're not protesting the government, they're protesting you. So, so they're picking your face when the public that they are protesting don't like the fact that they're being protested against, right? Because, like, wh what are they doing? Well, they're preventing average people from passing on the bridge. And those average people may even be sympathetic to their cause, but it doesn't matter, right? Like, you need to now wait for a couple of hours, regardless where you're going, regardless of what you're doing. Like, you may have an emergency, you may be late for work, you may miss your job, and that actually did happen in the past because some twat decides to block a bridge. Okay, so, so this is why people do not like these types of protests. Now, Let's look and analyze, I don't know, the farmer protest. Well, the farmer protest was very large, right? So, like, when you have a protest that has thousands of people, it's simply by the nature of the size that they are going to block the roads. And it's also stuff that's announced on the radio in advance so you know not to go there. Because, like, oh, okay, so, like, the entire capital is filled with cars. I should take away around it. And even then, people can understand why you're late. Like, if you go to your job and you say, well, shit, it's like, well, it was the farmer protest and I, I have difficulty going here. Like, the boss is aware that, yeah, okay, there was actually a farmer protest. But when there's, like, a couple of chuckleheads that are blocking a road, most of the time that's not announced on the radio. Your boss may not even be inclined to believe you. It's, it's not, right? Because when you have, like, the farmer protest, it's not just you that's late. It's going to be many people because it's so large and it influences such a wide area that everyone that's late because of it is going to have other people that will back them up. So it's more understandable. But, but again, you know, when you have, like, a huge amount of people, there is no way that you can physically not occupy the street. Uh, meanwhile, this... It's like 10 or 20 people. And, and the difference with the farmer protests is also that they were protesting the government. Like, they, they went in the capital city to protest in front of the city hall or in front of the politicians. Meanwhile, th this is protesting in front of a bridge. So, so this is why a lot of people are fed up with this. 
Because yes, you do have the right to protest, but I also have the right of freedom of movement. I, I should be able to carry around with my life, you know, especially if there is a way that you can protest without inconveniencing me personally, because I didn't do anything to you. And, and again, you know, there are people that may actually be sympathetic to them, like when environmentalists block a road. There might actually be pro-environmentalist people that are driving cars and there's no reason for them to be stopped. Like, that, that doesn't do anything. But the reality is that most of these protesters are paid shills. They're paid activists, so they want to get their faces on camera. That, that's literally all they want to do. They want to trend on social media. So by inconveniencing people, they are actually hoping that someone would go out, they would take their photo, they, they, they would uh, cause a ruckus, and they would go on social media trending, and, and that's how they get their publicity. This is why they're doing this. This is not in order to actually create change. This is not in order to actually change people's minds. In fact, it pisses people off even more. Like, if I were to be stopped by an environmentalist, I would find, okay, which is the party that wants to pollute the most? Which is the party that really takes them off? And I would vote for that. It's like, how dare you stop my road? And the funny thing is, <clears throat> I actually had this problem happening in Romania. I had a couple of chuckleheads... They were called the USR, United We Save Romania, a social justice party, pretty much. And when I was going to the vet with my cat, I had them blocking my road. And I had to stay there and, and be late for my vet appointment while my cat was sick. And that pissed me off so much that I voted for the extremists. And everyone was like, oh my God, you're so petty, V. You're so petty. Is that, is that, yes, yes, that, that is literally it. And if more people would th think like me, there would be less petty fucking protesters doing shit that is inconveniencing others. Because like th these types of protests are also petty. So sometimes you need to fight pettiness with other pettiness. Because it's very effective. Apparently in Romania more people think like me. So when they realize, oh shit, the, the, the opposition party is growing in percentages, is growing in polls. They stopped it with these tactics. But anyway, right, uh, uh, regarding Hassan Paikar. I mean, this is not the first time he does something like this, right? Like he, he's being a cheeky little shit on the internet on purpose. Like, he's being edgy on purpose, safe edgy, I guess. Oh, look how cool I am. I, I, I'm, I'm going to show the murder of assassination for... Uh, I'm going to advocate for other people getting cancelled while doing cancelling behavior myself. Because I know that if I get in trouble with this, like, all the free speech warriors are going to come to defend me. The same free speech warriors that I want to be cancelled. Man, you know, uh, I, I was generally wondering, can he get into legal problems over this? Uh, and the answer would be yes. And, and if the authorities would also ask, uh, why did he have a hoodie on his stream? That's going to be a very difficult conversation to be having, wouldn't it? Because I get it, you know, like you're a far leftist and you're extremely edgy. You're doing stuff that no one else gets to do. I mean, uh, he got banned from Twitch for saying that America deserves it, right? Regarding 9-11, like he actually got into hot water with that. This is not the first time he goes after a U.S. senator. You, you can push the envelope. You, you, can, you can push it and push it and push it. But at one point, even the left goes like, Hey, you know, we're trying to be hypocrites here, but not that obviously. So we do have to actually apply the same rules that we apply to everyone else to you as well. Uh, at least to save some face. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think, though. And if you like the channel, please consider contributing. There is a link into the pinned comment, both to my Subscribestar and my PayPal. Uh, and I will give you the best buyer's remorse that the internet can offer in exchange. So I'll see you guys there. Take care.